Bonjour, mes amis, and happy Sunday. And yes, I'm sick and tired of seeing me in the pain cave too. Weather's warming up, gonna be nice this week. So looking forward to getting out, out on the country roads of Northern Lancaster County. Uh, but as I wrap up this kind of exclusive winter indoor training block, I wanna share with you a tale of two different winter indoor training blocks. So last winter, not this past one, but the year before, I didn't do probably maybe more than one single structured workout. You know, the ones you see programmed in on Zwift or Trainer Road or uh, whatever platform you might use. Uh, all I did was I rode in the neighborhood of five times a week and a good many of those rides were um, either longer, uh, easy rides, zone two in nature, and on one or two occasions every week, I would do some climbing. Um, it could be multi-climbs, up Volcano a couple times, uh, made my way up Alp a number of times, same with Ventop. And during that block, my FTP went up about 50 points. And this winter, I did a ton of structured training and did a lot of erg training, um, different uh, power zones, high-end power, tempo, sweet spot, you name it and my power has gone up about two or three watts. And to be honest, you could look at it exclusively and say, well, unstructured training is better than structured training. And there's way more to the story than that because that's absolutely not the case. We're not considering a number of variables. And the first of those variables is, two winters ago was my first proper ever indoor winter training block. So my FTP, had massive potential for gains. I put my body under stress. I gave it the opportunity to recover. I was consistent in putting it under stress and recovering. And as a result, it adapted and made big time gains. After a really uh, kind of awesome summer outside, a lot of miles and pushing distance and continuing to build my engine, um, I feel like I got a ton out of my training this past winter. But simply put, when you start to become a more experienced cyclist, yes, you can make gains. There are going to be plateaus. There are going to be marginal gains. There are going to be years where um, the gains are simply minimum. And then you add all sorts of other factors into the mix. Muscle fiber type, potential for gains when it relates to FTP. FTP is a great measurement in terms of a framework for zones to train in. Um, it does not necessarily, depending on what you're riding for, have a lot of specificity out on the road. Certainly if you're time trialing in any long distance or you're gonna be doing uh, you know, indoor cycling track work where the variables are the same or you're trying to break your own one hour record or whatever, absolutely. Uh, but it really depends. If you're a super ultra long distance cyclist, um, it, it's got less meaning than it might for somebody else. But the long and short of it is, folks, um, whatever you got to do in order to be consistent with how you enjoy cycling, whether it's structured training, unstructured altogether, modestly structured training, mixtape type training where you mix it up and you're doing different things and the variety sings to you, whatever makes you excited to saddle up get on the bike both indoors and outdoors is at the end of the day the most important thing there are many many ways to make gains there are many many ways to feel accomplished in terms of what you're doing as a cyclist um, there are achievements there are there's the relationship part of it riding with other people um, the meaning involved the traveling the seeing the sights there's so many different factors that go into it and honestly, that's what makes the cycling community great. A lot of ways to get from point A to point B, no pun intended. And I am so looking forward to getting out this week and actually getting from point A to point B. Don't care whether they're out and backs. Don't care whether they're loops and lanes or whatever. Just looking forward to be out in a boot. Well, that's it for today, my friends. Hope everybody has a great Sunday. Arrivederci. Over and out.